Hey guys, so this is my cousin Jackie, and we're about to do this here to show you one here. We did a balayage, sombre, also put a greenish, bluish streak, teal streak in there, and that'll be on the top if y'all want to see that. But, I guess you stay tuned if you want to see this here to Hey guys, so I'm here with my cousin Jackie, and we're going to be here, here today. We're going to do the balayage, sombre. It's going to be like orange on the ends, but kind of come through some blood here. Do you want some to come up around your face a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do that. Okay, this is how I mix up everything. Turn it on using the flash lips. Red can be on. Tar, turn it on. Usually goes to like 20. Green developer. Is it someone? Okay. Red developer. I for this part, and so I started with my smaller brushes on the sides and I take a smaller section at the bottom and then you kind of do in a V section and you come down thicker at the bottom and with a bigger brush and I'm using my board there so you can see how it comes down in the V and then you put the plastic wrap around it to hold in the heat for the processing just like that and then you take another little section and with hers, we're kind of doing like the sombre balayage, so we're leaving out a section of her natural color that I'm piecing out here now. And then I'm going to take two sections now on each side, and I put right in the middle. And then I'll do the same thing pretty much in my B section again. So you see I take my smaller brush on the sides here and then I go back with my board with my bigger brush into a V section and paint it down thicker at the ends and same thing on the other side and I put the plastic wrap around once again and so I'll take another section and piecing out that little middle part of her natural color. And you bring the balayage to the center again. I'm using a little section on each side. And then you do a heavier section at the bottom into the V section. Bottom section there. 
but the front part of the hair you don't have as much hair and you're trying to make the highlights look a little bit more um, highlighted around the face and then I'll take my plastic wrap and put it around like that and you want to get everything away from their face and then take in another section there piece out for a little natural piece and doing pretty much the same thing you can bring out the hair a little bit more around your face and a little bit on that side and you kind of want it to diagonal a little bit towards the back and then I also will do like a middle piece sometimes just depending on what I think and how much hair they have in the front there and then you connect it all at the bottom with the blue arm just like that and the plastic up again hold it all together in place Sorry guys, we got busy, so I'm going to show you the on and red can toner. Thank you. 
Are you Kelly in here, or would you mm -hmm. like to sit up? Okay. Okay. We'll let this process for a little bit. Okay. Jackie XO. Oh, yeah. What is it? That's Jackie XO. That's Jackie XO. Oh, I always had it. Hey, look at me. I would have brought you some Jackie too. I asked her. Oh, you did? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, okay. wait on our food. And now it's Oplex part two time. But a lot of this in here. Yeah. And it's like 
in Indonesia. Okay, this is the Balayage Sombre, so it's gotten where it's wandered down here, but you can still yeah, see some of her natural color through it yeah. here. But this is all her natural color, and then it goes down to wander on the, the ends there, but then it still has some wander here. Next one, next one. Then we just trimmed the ends and curled it with a one inch curling iron. Just keep it up. Nice way. Yep. That's it. <laughs> Thanks guys. Today for Jackie for tutorial balayage sombre hair and if you want to see Jackie on her channel it's that's Jackie XO yes so go check out her channel yeah so subscribe comment like if you want to see more and we'll see you guys.